my next question it, I, it's hard for me to to ask this in a question so as i was thinking about this i actually kind of wrote down a a picture that can explain it better especially since you like disney this, this <laughs> okay so sure. okay now that we have the idea of hypothetically someone comes into okay now i have my purpose and calling i know what it is imagine you're like tarzan swinging from one forest rope to another uh -huh. and there's this apex at the point of where you're holding on to one rope that is propelling you forward so that you can grab on to the another. But if you let go too soon of your current rope, you'll fall down onto the jungle floor. But while grabbing onto the next jungle rope that is to propel you forward, if you hold on to the old rope just a little too long, it will hold you back and drop you to the jungle floor. How do you find in life that apex of transition where you are leaving one situation to the next situation so that you don't hit the jungle floor. That's a lovely analogy. And the answer is you don't. Cause if you go, cause if you go watch Tarzan, he falls. He does. And so how do you find that apex? Uh, by falling. And, and that's life. And, and, and but by the end of the movie, he's not falling very much. And I think we're all looking for a way to get a guarantee. Even mm -hmm. the idea of I found my calling and this is what I'm going to go do next. I have said those words and my understanding of my life and what I'm here to do since saying those words has changed. And how could it not? right? That would be like saying, what I think we, we often, that would be like saying, um, I'm done growing, right? And again, parenting is a wonderful analogy for life because um, every, every seven years, you and I are cellularly, at a cellular level, completely different. And every like, uh, like 12 to 14 months, about like 80 to 90% of us is, is almost completely different. But every seven years, you're a completely different person. Uh, and yet you mostly look the same, you know, maybe your, your hairline has receded a little bit more, have a little bit more gray hairs, a little, you know, a little more padding for us guys a lot of times. Um, but you think of yourself as the same person. But when you look at your kids, you know, like I have a seven-year-old and like, it would be absurd for me to say, just stay seven, you know? And, and, and yet sometimes I kind of want them to because it's a cool age and whatever. And, and yet I think we often do that with ourselves where we go, just stay this way. Like just, you, you, you've made it, right? You found your calling, so just do that forever. You found your purpose, and so this is what it is. And I don't think that's how it works. I think um, our, our, our understanding of who we are and what we're here to do necessarily and naturally evolves. Story is a really great metaphor for life. And so what you find in a story is you often have a character who wants something, and they have to face and overcome tremendous conflict to get the thing that they want. But the point of a story is that there's almost always an epiphany where the character realizes something about themselves that they didn't know. So this is kind of the internal and external conflict. Uh, and, and often the internal conflict is, do I have what it takes, right? Or do I have to prove my dad wrong? Or am I really lovable or whatever? Um, and so what's interesting about stories is, is you often have a character um, pursue a goal, overcome conflict to get it. And they either get it or they don't. Sometimes they don't get it. But the point of the story is the transformation that happens in the character afterwards. And they realize, you know, all this success wasn't really worth losing my family. So I'm going to go back home or whatever. Or um, uh, Frodo comes, comes back to the Shire, which is what he wants to do the whole time, right? Is just get rid of the ring. That's the goal. Got rid of the ring, go back to the Shire. And he goes, oh, I don't fit here anymore. And so I think we have to be careful with thinking that the point of life is to find out the purpose, the reason, the calling, and then just kind of coast for the rest of your life. Because the truth is that Tarzan isn't actually here to just swing on vines, right? right. He's, he's here to fall. He's here to get back up. He's here to, uh, you know, and that's actually a great movie, by the way. I watched this recently with my kids. You know, he's here to rescue Jane. And he actually has this conflict. The internal conflict is, this is where I'm from, right? So do I stay here? And initially he goes, no, I can't, 
I can't, I can't leave, even though I've fallen in love with Jane. And so then she leaves and there's this whole, you know, battle. And, and then he eventually decides he's going to go with her. Um, and so there is no, we're looking for a guarantee. We're looking for a way to emergency proof our lives because we think falling is bad. And the truth is that every story of heroism, um, there is a moment where the hero is wounded by their own folly, right? So Jacob wrestles with God or the angel or, you know, both, however you interpret that story. Bless me, bless me. And, and he gets the blessing. He gets what he wants and he walks with a limp for the rest of his life. This happens over and over again in, in every great narrative because that is how life works. You want something and you don't quite understand what you're asking for. And the wanting is not necessarily bad. This is where I think in communities of faith, we sometimes get this wrong as we go, you have everything that you want, you're blessed, you're fine, and don't pay attention to your heart, your desire. That is how all great stories start is you want something. And what happens is you experience conflict. And at some point, the desire can be transformed. It can be, you can transcend the, I want to make money. I want to be famous. I want a family. I want to move, whatever the goal is. And through that experience, you learn a deeper uh, lesson. There's an internal lesson. There's a spiritual lesson to learn. So I think calling works that way too. You're like, I'm here to, to be a podcaster or a pastor or like, and men often go, this is my job. I've got to do it. Right. And, and you go put that role on. And then part of listening to your life is kind of paying attention to all the different levels at which you're operating. I'm doing this thing physically, but then what's going on with me internally? What am I learning about myself through this experience? And so I think when Tarzan falls, he's learning something about himself, right? When, when he uh, abandons his family for a, a girl, he's learning something about himself. When he goes back to his family, he's learning something about himself. And so um, similarly, we need to pay attention to every part of the story, including the moments where we fall down and we go, Oh, I didn't expect that. That's, this is not part of the goal. This is not part of the story. What's going on here? That's as much a part of the calling as the, the, you know, the angel blessing you.